Do you know what you need to know about Texas auto insurance? Let's delve into the nitty gritty of it. It's not just about ticking a box on a form or a necessary evil to grapple with. It's about safeguarding your journey on the Lone Star State's vast and varied roads. It's about ensuring peace of mind as you traverse the city streets of Houston, the picturesque routes of hill country, or the long, open highways that stretch far and wide. It's about navigating the complexities of minimum liability coverage, understanding the penalties for non-compliance, and weighing up the benefits of optional coverages. It's about grasping the ins and outs of the comparative negligence system and the convenience of electronic proof and the insurance verification program. The world of Texas auto insurance is a landscape as diverse and dynamic as Texas itself. So strap in as we navigate the highways and byways of Texas auto insurance. First off, let's talk about the mandatory minimum liability coverage in Texas. When you're cruising down those wide open Texas roads, it's crucial to remember that the Lone Star State requires drivers to carry liability insurance. Now you might be wondering, what is liability insurance? Well, in a nutshell, it's coverage that helps you pay for the other person's expenses if you're at fault in an accident. This includes things like medical bills and property damage. In Texas, the minimum liability coverage is often referred to as 306025. Here's what those numbers mean. The first number, $30,000, is the maximum amount your insurance will pay for bodily injury per person in an accident. The second number, $60,000, is the maximum your insurance will pay for all bodily injuries in a single accident and the third number twenty five thousand dollars is the maximum amount your insurance will cover for property damage per accident so let's put it in perspective say you're involved in a fender bender and the other driver gets a bit banged up and their car needs some repairs your liability coverage will step in to cover their medical bills up to thirty thousand dollars and their car repair costs up to twenty five thousand dollars if there are multiple people in the other car who get injured, your insurance will cover their combined medical bills up to $60,000. But here's the kicker. These are just the minimums. In a serious accident, medical bills and property damage can quickly add up to much more than these limits. And if your coverage falls short, you could be on the hook for the difference. That's why it might be wise to consider more comprehensive coverage, depending on your needs and financial situation. In the end, having auto insurance isn't just about meeting legal requirements. It's about protecting yourself, your assets, and your peace of mind when you're out on the road. Because as we all know, life can sometimes throw you a curveball, or in this case, a rogue armadillo on the highway. Remember, these are the minimums. It might be wise to consider more comprehensive coverage, depending on your needs. Proof of insurance is a must-have for Texas drivers. But did you know there are alternatives? That's right, folks. In the Lone Star State, it's not just about carrying an insurance card in your wallet or glove compartment. Texas law mandates that drivers have proof of insurance and present it if a law enforcement officer asks to see it. This evidence can come in handy, especially if you're involved in an accident or stopped for a traffic violation. However, here's where it gets interesting. Texas also allows drivers to demonstrate financial responsibility through methods other than insurance. Yes, you heard it right. If you prefer, you can opt for a surety bond from a licensed company. This bond is a contract between three parties, where the surety company promises to fulfill the obligation if the principal fails to do so. Alternatively, drivers can make a cash deposit with the state comptroller or county judge. This deposit should be equal to the minimum liability amounts, which are $30,000 for bodily injury per person, $60,000 for bodily injury per accident, and $25,000 for property damage per accident. In addition, for those who own more than 25 cars, there's the option of a self-insurance certificate. This option is more suitable for businesses or large families with a fleet of vehicles. Remember though that these alternatives don't absolve you from your responsibilities if you're involved in an accident. They're just different ways to ensure you can cover the costs if you're at fault. And in case you're wondering, Texas does allow drivers to show proof of insurance electronically. So, if you're more comfortable using your smartphone instead of carrying a piece of paper, that's perfectly fine. So, whether it's insurance or another form of financial responsibility, Texas law requires you to show you're covered. After all, driving is a privilege, not a right. And with that privilege comes the responsibility of ensuring you can cover the costs if something goes wrong on the road. What happens if you don't comply with these requirements? Well. 
it's not pretty. If you fail to maintain the required coverage or demonstrate financial responsibility, you could face some serious consequences. The Lone Star State doesn't take kindly to non-compliance. You could be hit with fines, and we're not talking about pocket change. These fines can range from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars, depending on the severity of the offense and whether it's a repeat violation. But the penalties don't stop at fines. If you're caught driving uninsured, your driver's license could be suspended. Imagine not being able to jump in your car and drive off whenever you want to. And if you think that's bad, in some cases your vehicle could even be impounded. So keep yourself on the right side of the law, maintain your coverage. Beyond the minimum, there are optional coverages you might want to consider. These optional coverages can bolster your protection and offer peace of mind, especially when you're out and about on the Texan roads. Firstly, there's comprehensive coverage. This coverage goes beyond the basics, offering protection for damage to your vehicle that's not caused by a collision. This can include events such as fire, theft, vandalism, or even damage from natural disasters. You know, those Texas-sized hailstorms can really do a number on your car. Then there's collision coverage. As the name suggests, this coverage helps pay for repair or replacement of your vehicle if it's damaged in a collision, regardless of who is at fault. Whether you've had a run-in with another vehicle or a stationary object, collision coverage has got your back. Next up, we have medical payments coverage. If you or your passengers are injured in an accident, this coverage can help with medical expenses. It can cover things like hospital stays, surgery, x-rays, and the like. It's a bit like having a safety net, catching those potentially high medical costs that can follow an accident. Lastly, we have personal injury protection, often referred to as PIP. This coverage can help pay for your medical expenses regardless of who's at fault in an accident. But it doesn't stop there. PIP can also cover other out-of-pocket costs, like lost wages if you're unable to work after an accident or even services you can't perform due to injury, such as housekeeping. So as you can see, these optional coverages offer a level of protection that goes above and beyond the minimum requirements. They can provide a financial buffer, helping to shield you from unexpected costs associated with accidents and other mishaps on the road. Just remember, every driver's situation is unique. So it's important to consider your specific needs and circumstances when deciding what coverages are right for you. Consult with an insurance professional to help guide your decisions. These optional coverages can provide extra protection and peace of mind. So buckle up, drive safely and enjoy the journey, knowing you've got the coverage that fits you best. Texas follows a comparative negligence system, but what does that mean for you? Well, let's break it down. In the Lone Star State, if you find yourself involved in an auto accident, the concept of comparative negligence will come into play when determining compensation. Under this system, the fault for the accident is divvied up between the involved parties. Let's say you're found to be 20% at fault. In that case, any compensation you may receive for damages will be reduced by that 20%. It's like this. If your damages total $100,000, but you're found to be 20% at fault, you would only be entitled to $80,000 in compensation. This system ensures that even if you share some blame for the accident, you're not left high and dry. It's a fair way of dealing with an unfortunate situation. So, even if you're partly at fault, you might still be entitled to some compensation. In the digital age, even proof of insurance has gone electronic. Yes, you heard it right. Gone are the days of fumbling through your glove box for that elusive insurance card. Nowadays, Texas law allows drivers to show proof of insurance electronically. So whether it's on your smartphone, tablet, or any other electronic device, as long as you can display your current insurance information, you're good to go. But that's not all. In fact, Texas has taken steps to ensure that drivers maintain their required insurance coverage through the Insurance Verification Program, or IVP for short. Now what's this all about, you ask? Well, the IVP is a program that requires insurance companies to electronically report policy information. This program helps verify that drivers are maintaining the necessary insurance coverage as required by law. So, how does it work? Essentially, insurance companies send updates to the IVP database, which is then checked against registered vehicles in Texas. If a vehicle is found without insurance, the owner could be facing some hefty fines, not to mention potential suspension of their driver's license. But don't worry, as long as you're maintaining your required insurance coverage, you shouldn't have any issues. And remember, if you're ever stopped by law enforcement or need to provide proof of insurance for any reason, you can easily bring up your electronic proof of insurance on your device. 
It's as simple as a few taps on your screen. And there you have it. The electronic proof of insurance and the insurance verification program are just two ways Texas is leveraging technology to ensure drivers are adhering to the law. It's a testament to how the Lone Star State is keeping pace with the digital age, making it easier for drivers to stay insured and prove their coverage when needed. With these systems, proving you're insured and maintaining coverage is easier than ever. So keep up with your insurance requirements, embrace the convenience of technology, and drive with peace of mind knowing you're in compliance with Texas law. We've covered a lot of ground in our journey through Texas auto insurance. From understanding the importance of the minimum liability coverage of $30,000 per person for bodily injury, $60,000 per accident for bodily injury, and $25,000 per accident for property damage, to recognizing the necessity of always having proof of insurance or an alternative proof of financial responsibility on hand. We've highlighted the potential consequences of non-compliance, which could result in penalties, fines, and even the suspension of your driving privileges. And let's not forget the option of uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage, a lifeline when you're involved in an accident with a driver who lacks adequate insurance. We've also discussed the range of optional coverages available. Comprehensive, collision, medical payments, and personal injury protection are all options you can consider to tailor your insurance coverage to your specific needs. We've touched on the modified comparative negligence system that Texas operates under. This system can impact the compensation you receive if you're partially at fault in an accident. We've learned that Texas is keeping up with the digital age by allowing electronic proof of insurance and establishing an insurance verification program to ensure drivers maintain their insurance coverage. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The world of auto insurance is complex and ever-changing, and the specific requirements and regulations in Texas are no exception. It's vital to stay informed and up-to-date with the rules of the road, and to consult with insurance professionals for advice tailored to your unique situation. Remember, staying insured doesn't just keep you legal. It keeps you, your passengers, and your fellow drivers safe on the road.